Tattoos are big business. Ohio is considering new laws on the industry. Today I found out that tattoo artists feel the system in place is fair enough. Tattoo artists are seeing a surge in business. Tattoos remain popular. The Ohio governor's budget proposal wants tattoo artists to be state registered and pay $250 every year. I just don't really think it's fair. What are they going to offer us except for telling people that we're registered? Debbie Lenz has been drawing designs on people for 38 years. A good day could be between two and ten tattoos. She remembers the 80s when gloves weren't even required, but they are now. Places like Artistic Dermographics are registered with the county. Each artist is registered individually. Inspections come twice a year. Now they want to know if this state check would supersede that or be in addition to current procedures. Yeah, we're already being checked and we're already being regulated and we have a, a registration. So it's really not, I don't feel that it's fair. Tattoo artists take a blood pathogen class, plus keep records of colors and needles that they use. Local health departments enforce standards right now. The governor's idea seems to be similar to putting laws like ones which govern barbers and cosmetologists in place. But every tattoo artist I talked with today was worried about the kitchen magician who does tattoos from homes and wouldn't be covered by this possible law. Okay, is it a health issue or is it as a police matter? Because they're actually going against the law by doing it. If the governor's plan goes through, one idea is to create a state database where people could check to see if the tattoo artist is registered. The tattoo artists feel people should know that one form of verification exists already, letting people know they follow health standards. If they don't have a registration from the county, then you want to worry that they're not registered, so they've never been inspected. The law also applies to body piercings, except anyone who pierces ears with an ear piercing gun would not be required to register with the Ohio Department of Health.